How's it going everyone? It is Panjano here and in this video I'm going to be sharing a quick and easy optimization you can apply to nearly all games to boost priority, reduce input latency and potentially increase performance by forcing full screen exclusive mode in nearly all of your favourite games. Full screen exclusive mode will allow you to boost the priority of the game application whilst it's open in Windows, giving a higher priority to resources on the system or the other programs which may be running in the background, reduced input latency from this and in some cases even increasing frame rates in the game itself. With all of that and more coming straight after a message from today's video sponsor. Tired of seeing the Activate Windows watermark, built a new PC, or just want to own Windows at a major discount, head over to WhoKeys to purchase a Windows 10, 11, Home, or Pro OEM key at a major discount. Make sure to use code PAN20 for a further 20% off at checkout, where you can use a safe and secure payment method such as PayPal. Once your key is delivered, simply input the key inside of Windows, and boom, you're now completely activated and own Windows forever. You'll now have access to all features and no more watermark. Thanks again to WhoKeys for sponsoring today's video. Full screen exclusive mode could already be available in some of your favorite games, and to see if it is natively supported on a game before you go and try these methods, jump into the game settings, head over to either the video or display options, find the display modes which are available. If you see full screen, full screen borderless, window borderless, or just windowed, and there is no option for exclusive or exclusive full screen or full screen exclusive, the game more than likely will not support full screen exclusive mode. If that's the case, that's completely fine. We have two methods in which we can utilize to make sure the game is actually using exclusive full screen mode when set to full screen. If your title does support exclusive or full screen exclusive mode, make sure that you do select this in nearly every single game as the game will support it natively and you'll get all of these benefits without having to apply additional optimizations. If you're not sure if a game supports full screen exclusive mode, a quick and easy test in which you can do if your keyboard supports it is use the media keys on your keyboard, often by using the FN or function key and pressing the volume up and volume down button inside of your game. If the windows volume slider shows up whilst you're inside of your game, your game will not be running in full screen exclusive mode as full screen exclusive mode will not allow the Windows overlay to show up. First of all, full screen exclusive mode will not work on any DirectX 12 titles. This is due to the way the rendering API works. True full screen is not available in DirectX 12 no matter what you do, as DirectX 12 games effectively run in a full screen borderless mode so you can seamlessly tab in and out, and there is no way of getting around that. My only advice for DirectX 12 titles, for those of you on Windows 11, is to try experimenting around with the optimized Windows game option inside of Windows 11. You can enable this by navigating down, clicking the Windows button, typing GPU settings, selecting the GPU settings panel. Inside of here, go to change default graphics settings at the top, select the GPU you want to change this for, which will be your main GPU, and you should then be able to see the optimizations for windowed game section, turn this to the on position, and try out your DirectX 12 title after a system restart. This can also help for non-DirectX 12 games if you wish to continue to use them in either windowed or windowed borderless mode for easier tabbing in and out. In my recommendation, I would keep this setting on and apply full screen exclusive mode on games where it's compatible, gives you the best of both worlds, and you can quickly and easily change these settings by adjusting the display mode in your game. So whether it's Apex Legends or any other game you'd like to force full screen exclusive mode on for, the first method is now widely known by most people and unfortunately this doesn't often work on newer Windows builds for Windows 10 and 11, but we can try it anyway as it's super quick and easy to try out. For this method, you will need to go to the game's directory for where it's installed. For any Steam games, simply right click on the game, navigate down to properties, head down to local files, then select browse. What we then need to do is locate the game's application file. For me that's super simple and easy to do, I can just navigate down to R5 Apex, Alternatively, you can just search for .exe in the top right, find the application for the game itself, right click and select properties. Head to compatibility, make sure that disable full screen optimizations has been selected and for bonus optimization, navigate down to change high DPI settings and override the high DPI scaling behavior at the bottom. Select OK, select apply and OK. Again, most of you watching are more than likely familiar with that method, but unfortunately it doesn't work in most cases now on newer Windows builds, but we can test it anyway. Simply boot back into the game, make sure your display mode is still set to full screen screen and try the same command on your keyboard to bring up the Windows volume slider. If you can still see it, we are still not running in full screen exclusive mode. In that scenario, that moves us over to our brand new method which works on nearly all games. For this, what you'll need to do is navigate to the bottom left, type reg edit. Open up the registry editor. We won't be making any in-depth edits to the Windows registry editor. We are simply changing the Windows priority of the game application itself on an individual per game basis. If you want to be super safe, you can back up your Windows registry by navigating to the top left to file, export, name the registry. We can just call this backup, head to desktop and save the registry. Once completed, you will see the backup registry entry inside of here. At any time after this video, after you've made any changes, if you forget what the values were before you changed them, or you just want to revert everything back simply and easily, all you need to do is double click the reg file, select yes, 
select yes and okay. That will then load all of the previous values from how the registry was, running that back up and it will revert absolutely everything. For this, you'll need to navigate inside of H key underscore current user. Inside of this folder, navigate down to system, then navigate down to game config store. Inside of here, we're going to be selecting this folder at the top, double click. If you're not entirely sure if you're in the right location, you can simply look at the directory for my Windows registry at the top and make sure that it is the same on your system. All we need to do is navigate over to the folder, right click and select find. What we're then going to do is input the name of our game. For me, I'm going to be searching for Apex for Apex Legends. If it was Escape from Tarkov, you could just simply type Tarkov and hit next. You will then see a folder is then selected. Inside of this folder on the right hand side for the keys, you should be able to see the matched exe full path. If you hover over this directory, it should then point to the application for the game in which we're going to be adjusting. In my case, it's r5apex.exe. If you simply can't find your game, you can look through the folders with the random numbers and letters on the left hand side. Look through all the matched exe full paths until you find the game application. Like for me here, I have Dying Light 2. Once you're inside of the folder for your game, you need to navigate up to the Flags key. Double click on Flags. Take a quick note of what the current value data is in case you want to come back and change this back. If you don't remember in the future and you want to change it back, you can have used the backup for the Windows registry we used. You then need to change the value data to 211, so 211. Make sure inside of here that you still have hexadecimal selected, then select OK. Once that's been changed, exit out the Windows registry, as that optimization has now been applied, and boot back into your game. Simply repeat the same test we've been doing before, so once again, for me, that's the FN key and the volume adjustment. I'm pressing both keys now, the Windows volume rocker is not coming up, and that's a clear indication that the full screen exclusive mode fix has worked for this game, and this game is in fact now running in full screen exclusive mode. The game already feels way snappier and more responsive, and we'll be getting all of the priority benefits for the game application inside of Windows. If you apply the application fix to a certain game and it just won't work, and you still get the volume overlay, or you can tell that it is not running in exclusive full screen mode, it's worth double checking inside of this folder that there aren't multiple client folders for the game you're trying to change this for. For example, with Rust, select Find, search for Rust, we get Rust.exe. I've applied the fix, but this still isn't working inside of Rust. That's because with Rust and other games, there's actually an additional exe for Rust called rustclient.exe. If I then go to flags, change this value data to 211 from 11 and select OK, the Rust application fix then works next time I boot the game and the overlay no longer shows up. With full screen exclusive mode running on your game, you can't tab in and out particularly quick, but the performance benefits, latency benefits, and how snappy and responsive every game feels running in full screen exclusive mode means that I'm gonna be using this on nearly every single title possible. If you decide that full screen exclusive mode isn't for you, the easiest way to turn it off is to an alternative display mode such as windowed borderless. If you would like to fully disable this and revert back to the stock settings for your game, all you simply need to do is if you applied the exe fix, find the application for the game, right click, properties, compatibility, uncheck the option for disable full screen optimizations, uncheck the option for high DPI scaling override, OK, apply and OK. All you then need to do is either use the windows registry backup we created earlier on by double clicking and accepting, otherwise navigate to the bottom left, hit the windows button, type regedit, go to the directory listed up here at the top, once inside of here, search for your game application, for me that's Apex Legends, go up to the flags value by double clicking. Inside of here you can input the value data it was listed as before, for me it was 11, select OK. If you can't remember what the value data is for the flags value, in nearly all cases this is going to be set to 11 by default, so make sure it's set to hexadecimal, 11, select OK, and that should then apply it back to the default setting. Once we're back inside of the game we can ensure that full screen exclusive mode has then been disabled by applying that same test we've been doing, for me that's the FN key and the volume slider, and as you can see at the bottom of my screen, it's now back, meaning full screen exclusive mode is no longer running. Doesn't mean the performance optimizations stop there, this channel is full of performance optimizations for individual games and windows across the board, so if you are looking for further optimizations to build on top of these, make sure that you do check out the other content which is available on the channel. With the brand new full screen exclusive fix working on your games, let me know what games you're going to be testing this on in the comment section down below and what results you've seen, and if you'd like to see more content like this, check out the two videos on screen now, and I'll see you in the next video.